Now, if you like baked potatoes, you're going to love these cooked on a Weber barbecue. Now, look at these beautiful potatoes. They're pretty big, aren't they? Hope we can manage to eat these. Now, it's going to be a very simple dish. Firstly, I'm going to put olive oil over the potatoes. followed by a hefty amount of sea salt. Now the idea of the oil is to help this seasoning, seasoning stick onto the skin of the potatoes. And we're also gonna have freshly cracked black pepper. That will go all over as well. Not forgetting the other side, of course. As you can see, I've got these on indirect heat. I've got these really stoked up, these uh, containers, both sides with loads of charcoal, and we'll put the lid on and try and reach a really high temperature. So, when I was a youngster back in the 60s, my parents had a really big garden and they used to cull the bushes and trees down in the summer and build big fires. And as the embers died down, my old dad would put loads of potatoes into the ash to cook, baked potatoes, and they were delicious. We had to scrub all the ash off afterwards. Um, he'd probably put about 10 in there and we might get four out. All the others just sort of got burned away really, but yeah, they were good times. And I'm trying to replicate that after a fashion by cooking baked potatoes in this uh, Weber kettle barbecue. We've got them in there now. I think they're going well. Hope they are. Can't see through it. So uh, I'll give them a check in about, mm, about an hour. Got the temperature up to about, let's see, nearly 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably should be a bit more, but anyway, we'll see how we're going and uh, hopefully have a lovely dinner later on. So they've had about an hour and a quarter or an hour and a half. It's time to check these and always do this with a skewer because if it goes through gently, you know that they're cooked right through. Then we cut across in the potato like this while it's still nice and hot. Open it up a little bit. Then we can add a hefty amount of butter right down the centre. This will help the potatoes to be more moist and succulent and flavoursome. Then we add quite a bit of cheese on the top. Then some pre-cooked bacon pieces, on they go. A little bit more, got to make sure we've got enough. And some more butter. This will gradually melt through and it will be magnificent. Now let's move over the potato. Time to do the salad. Few rocket leaves, some tomato, and some cucumber, and there we have it. Just a few shots here. That looks so good, doesn't it? Can't wait to tuck in. Please try this for yourself. It's so easy. You don't have to have a Weber barbecue. Use another one if you wish. Now for a taste test. Here we go. Hope I'm not disappointed. really is so so tasty please try this for yourself not quite as good as when I was a youngster I might add but you know things were different then thanks for watching this latest video of mine hope you've enjoyed it please subscribe share and give me a like and I'll see you next time thanks once again and bye for now